Hey, hey, everybody. I'm Jeremy Beaver, CEO and founder of Listen Vision, and you are watching District Spotlight with my co-host, the one and only... B-Dub the Boy Wonder. We... It only took us eight weeks, but we finally got that perfect. That was you know nice. what else I got for you? What? Just because I feel like it is Friday. It's freaking 60-something degrees out here and yeah. it's a celebration. <laughs> oh, God. You're on another level. My DJ is killing it. And our guest tonight, man, I am so excited to have the CEO of Mitchcraft. My, personally, I think the most incredible brand here in the Washington, D.C. area. Montu, thank you for being with us, man. Thank you for having me. I, I appreciate those words. Uh, I'm glad you see it that way. Well, let me tell you something. Uh, this man is doing something with fashion that, in my opinion, very few to no other people in the country are doing. And the reason we have him on tonight is not just to, you know, stroke his ego and show how awesome his clothes are, although we will do that. But we're going to get into what fuels your passion for unbelievable art, like the art he's wearing right at the moment. That is one of his own pieces. And he, you have a style all to your own. Can you tell people uh, how long you've been doing this for? Um, doing this. I've been studying the game of DC urban streetwear, DC fashion. I came through that era, and I studied it for a long time. I started putting my name on my art in 2014. What is that when Mitchcraft came about? Yes. Okay. But up until that point, I performed for other people, other brands, big and small. As a designer. As a designer. And your design, to me, is incredibly unique. Now, this is a. Believe it or not, we have 78 live shows every week. Mm -hmm. We're the largest internet station in America. But this show right here is dedicated 100% to... Did I just fire... Sh did we fire shots at someone? I was just simply describing our show. Um, we didn't need to... And that's worth an explosion. And, oh, that was an explosion. I thought we were Because we're taking shot. over the internet, goddammit. <laughs> okay, I was like, good man. But this show here is dedicated to our Hip Hop Museum, which is the largest collection of hip hop memorabilia in the country. And right off the bat, let's get people excited. Uh, Montu brought this shirt, among many others. But can we show them, I think, the history of hip hop in shirt form, in design? Jacob, where'd Jacob go? Yeah, one job, one job only. Look at that. Look at that, you guys. I don't know who we don't have. I mean, that really... Oh, my goodness. That's incredible, guys. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. So, we have... Oh, it's so incredible that he brought this shirt, of all shirts. And, you know, all of these groups are commemorated with memorabilia here in the Hip Hop Museum. In fact, tonight, uh, Montu... I don't know if you're a fan of LL Cool J. Always a fan. You like LL it's Cool radio. J? So uh, have you ever heard of this single, uh, Mama Said Knock You Out? Of course. Of course. This glove, autographed, signed, featured in the video, Mama Said Knock You Out. Oh, that's awesome. awesome. And not only do we have his boxing glove from the video, which is has a certificate of authenticity on the back, but we also have his album and autographed radio. Okay, so tonight, we got a big, big bill of things to go through tonight, okay? Um, and we're gonna go to a break here in a second, but let me just tell you, we're gonna be going through the three songs that made us fall in love with hip hop. We're gonna go through some hip hop birthdays of which LL Cool J's birthday is in two days, okay? We're gonna talk about Mary J. Blige a little bit. We're going to talk all about your line. We're gonna go through some new MF Doom, Eminem, Eminem videos, and the recap of uh, Howard Homecoming's 2017 here at Listen Vision. Ray Kwan's birthday is coming up. We're gonna talk about Dick Gregory, who you commemorated in fashion form. We got events, and we got uh, games with candy. Games with candy. I am going to torture our DJ live on air with candy, okay? 
So right now we're going to go to a little bit of a break. Uh, we have a few pieces here that are audio-visual backlashes or responses to this new administration. This is, this is t to, to these new words that, that 45 has come up with. I don't speak his name. But to the new words that he's coming up with now, uh, let's show him this piece that uh, from Fannie Lou. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, B-Dub. My DJ is on point tonight, I'm telling you, man. Uh, yeah, now we're firing shots. And let's fire some shots at 45 with this video featuring Fannie Lou Hamer. Flag is, is drinks with our blood. Because you see, so many of our ancestors was killed because we have never accepted slavery. We had to live on it. We've never wanted it. So we know that this flag is drank with our blood. So what the young people are saying now, give us a chance to be young men respected as a man. As we know, this country was built on the black back of black people across this country. And if we don't have it, you ain't gonna have it either because we gonna tear it up. That's what they saying. And people ought to understand that. I, I don't see why they don't understand. They know what they've done to us. All across this country. They know. Yeah, so I don't, I don't need to say anymore. She pretty much said everything. That's, that's how we're feeling these days. And, um, you know, we're not going to even pay attention to that type of distraction. You know what I mean? We're going to do us. You know what I mean? And we're going to move forward because that's, that's how real men uh, speak and behave. Okay? Now, let's talk about birthdays. On January 1st, on the Wheels of Steel... Grandmaster Flesh, DJ Beatup, who's your favorite DJ? Like of all the DJs in the world, if you could only live on an island and only one DJ would spin the entire time on that island and no other DJs would spin, who would be that DJ? You know what's funny? I'm going to actually say Red Alert out of all the DJs. Well, you can't steal mine, but okay, that's mine. But we have the but same yeah, one. Uh, that's yeah, fair. I'll, I'll steal that. Hey, I'm he's the it. greatest. He's the greatest. Uh... Montu, if you were stuck on an island and only one DJ could spin the entire time, what DJ would spin for you? DJ Scratch. DJ Scratch, yeah. That's uh, Mr. Spivey, uh, for those who follow him on uh, Facebook. Uh, but what we did is, you know, we have a bunch of birthdays I'm going to run down, but we also posed a question to people. What three songs, B-Dub, I don't, did you chime in on yours? I think you did. You have yours? I have mine. Actually, I have my two. I, I, I didn't two? Have my no, three. It's, yeah, it's, three. it's three. But okay, we'll get back to you. Hold hold that for a second. Gotcha. Because in the meantime, we're going to run down these birthdays real quickly. Okay, January 1st is Grandmaster Flash. January 11th is Crazy Legs. Okay, guess who else is January 11th? Mary J. Blige. And to show you just how deep our collection is here at the Hip Hop Museum, we have a special piece of vinyl, Jacob, from... Sprite, who, oh yeah, okay, you know what, let me just take it out, yeah, look at that, Sprite, that commemorated the Real Love remix and Real Love song with a see-through vinyl from MCA, I don't know too many places that have this very rare vinyl, Montu, do you know who was featured on the remix of uh, Real Love? Um, that was Biggie, right? That was Biggie, you have passed the first test. There will be three tests for you on this mission. And if you complete them, the Oracle will not shoot you with lasers. Okay, on January 12th, my favorite group of all time, one of my favorite members, Raekwon, birthday is January 12th. And look at this shirt from Mitchcraft. Mitchcraft will be punctuating the entire show with unbelievably incredible images. All transformed, oh my god, all transformed into fashion here at Listen Vision. And that's the whole woo. That's the entire woo. Let me ask you something. I think, and I'm going to ask you a lot of questions, but why is your graphic design so awesome? Yeah. I'm happy you, you feel that way about it. Um, I think it's the passion. Um, I believe in intentions. You got to make your intentions. You got to be intentional about what you want people to feel the thoughts and emotions that you want to be conveyed. 
And so, are you kind of saying in a in another way that like when you go into each shirt, each design, you concept it first and then execute? Yeah, I gotta know how I'm gonna get out of it uh -huh. before I get into it. Okay, that's it. Okay, That's and what what do, you, do you, can we ask you what software you use? Oh, cool! I use uh, Adobe Photoshop, an old version of Photoshop, on an old computer that I don't. I just you know, I, it's nothing. Bare, bare nothing bones, special. Nothing special. But it's the eyeball behind it yeah. that is special. Yeah. So you know who, who he's been here. So Raekwon has been here. Oh wow! And uh, he he wanted to let people know exactly who had the sickest beats in the nation. And so on this video, you're about to see Raekwon, whose birthday is today. Happy birthday, Raekwon. Happy birthday, Ray. Chef. We will about to see who he thinks has the sickest beats in the nation. Roll that clip, Jay. Listen, Vision. Raekwon, the chef. You heard it first, y'all. Listen, bitch, studio. You guys are about to sign CNN. I'm on board. What? <laughs> Chef, but the nigga don't know. I think right. I've heard of that somewhere. You know what it is? Classic, legendary nigga. KRS to Ray Kwan. I take this music shit extra serious. If this isn't what right. real hip hop's all about. Listen, Vision Studio, whatever y'all fucking need. Yo, when I'm in the town, I'm coming here getting it in anyway. So yes, this shit is going to in there. Shit, yo. Stop screaming out loud. Wu Tang's back for more. That's what you fight in the Cold War. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> and plus the Cold War. Yeah, y'all, Raekwon is chef in the building. All day, every day, live from New York all the way to D.C. 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 D.C.'s number one recording studio. Yeah, y'all, this is Raekwon the chef. Check out www.listenvision.com for the sickest beats in the nation. In the nation. In the nation. You know what time it is. They represent the capital. Hold it down, kid. Listenvision.com. 100, drop that beat, boom. Get your money, mommy. Get your money, mommy. Get your money, mommy. Give her that love. Give her that love. Give her that yeah, love. every day, man. It's all real, man. You gotta be fruitful with Listen Vision, you heard? They got the illest beats in the city. Word up, this is Ray right here. Ray Corn and Shell, Wu Chang. Get ready, man. Cause I'ma show y'all what time it is, man. I fruit for Listen Vision. So, represent. Keep making them strong beats in the city. Hold it down. One. Hold it down. This is Ray right here, representing them nine swordsmen from Shaolin. Get your money, mommy. Get your money, mommy. Get your money, mommy. Give it that love. 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 Listen, Vision Studio. You know what it is, man. Boom, family. Appreciate the love, man. Shaolin, I just back on the day. Peace, 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 peace. Hey, hey, everybody. Jeremy Beaver uh, here on District Spotlight every Friday at 5 with my guest, Montu Mitchell from Mitchcraft and my DJ. Beat up the boy wonder. I love Say that. it with emotion, goddammit. You do that so well. So, anyways, um, give me a second here. I'm just kind of scrolling through. Here we go. So, we posed a question to our viewers. Uh, with the question was... What was the three songs that got you to fall in love with hip hop? And I specified by saying, I said, it took me all day to figure out the exact songs that really got me hooked and he when talk I about was me. young. Huh? I said, and you talk about me, but go ahead. Yeah, no, okay. So this is, this is a fact. I'm totally stolen this whole concept from my DJ. So, and I put it on my timeline as if it was something I did. So let me come clean and say this was totally B Dub's idea. So thank you, B Dub. Anyways, you need, did you get your third song? I did. I okay. Did. I did. So I said, that got me hooked when I was young on hip-hop. Here they are. And for me, these songs, when I was really little, and we're talking about, you know, maybe like 10, you know, I got a boombox at 10, and it changed my life. And for me, the songs that, and I'm talking about memorized every lyric, totally just 
absorbed with salt and peppers push it young mc bust a move and beastie boys fight for your right which to me was in a, a video that that was also a big deal to me that it was a music video okay b-dub who invented this game b-dub what were your three songs we're gonna start off with run dmc and earl smith walk this way love that joint right there ll cool j i need love explains you know Shut up, Scoop. Explains what. <laughs> but uh, my third one, we going to bounce back. Uh, we're going to bounce a little later in the years. I'm gonna say Red Man. Uh, tonight's the night. That was like classic oh, joint. Oh, really? Just made me. Oh, so. Yeah, no, yeah, I love that three. song. But it's interesting that yeah. you know. So how old? How old would you say you were when those songs really kind of grabbed you? Whew, I'm not showing my age right now. Go ahead. Okay. So Montu. Um. Okay. So, fight the power. Public Enemy. You know, the video, Spike did it. Oh. You know, the movie. Yeah. You know, it's just everything just yeah, coming do the together. Right thing. The visual, yeah. the clothes, yeah. the look, yeah. the sound, yeah. the group, the movement. Imagery. Yeah. Imagery. Yeah. You know, then Giz is chilling. <laughs> like Audio right too. Yeah. It's just basic. Just the basic. Just, it's just. Yeah. MC of mine, people call me yeah. milk when yeah. I'm busting but off a party. I feel no guilt. Yeah. You know, just basic. MC's chilling. Just, Gives most chilling. Yeah, anybody can do it basic, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. And, and there was no beat. There was no, like, music to it. It was, it was just a beat. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's MC. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, just, yeah, just your, yeah. your, your, your voice is it. Um, Three. And then the third one, I would have to go West Coast. You know, when I, when I fell in love with Snoop, you know, Deep Cover. That right there. Just Ooh, the way yes. And love. And love. And love. Oh, yeah. about in love. Like every, because of the bass line? Yes. It just One, everything. Eight, once again, it's a yeah, movie. Yeah. You know, once again, it's a movie. Okay. You know? So, those, uh, there's a lot of commonalities. Just so you know, when I, I'm gonna go through this list, I promised our viewers that I would quickly shout out everyone's song. So DJ Oh So Fresh said for him it was you know Rapper's Delight, Planet Rock, and My Melody. Okay. For uh, Anthony, Red Vest, uh, he said it was Slick Rick's Children's Story. Mm -hmm. DJ Jazzy Jeff. Uh, parents and, and Fresh Prince parents just don't understand that was gonna be one of mine too because they had the video too that was kind of funny right? and you could listen to that in the car with your mom you could it, you, and then there's no curse yeah you know so it was okay to, yeah. she was okay with it that was extra play and then uh, Tone Loke's Wild Thing yeah that pretty yeah. much got everybody wow. right yeah, that was okay a now K Quick he said woo ha he's a got little you younger all in check yes yeah. he is look into my eyes and Notorious Thugs clearly he's a very fast rapper Shout out to you, K. Quick. Sure. Okay, uh, uh, Lou Stokes, uh, who I know as Fleabag, he said the message. LL Cool J, uh, Easy E, uh, KRS One, My Philosophy, Iced Colors, Sir Mix a Lot, Posse's on Broadway, uh, MC Light, Ten Percent Dis, Audio Two's yours. Uh, it takes two. Uh, Rob Bass. It takes two is for a lot of one, <laughs> but that was just later in my trajectory. Yeah. Malcolm Riddle said Planet Rock. Uh, eight million stories, thirty days, run DMC, um, and Fat Boys, stick 'em, ha ha ha, stick 'em, yeah. stick 'em, ha ha ha, stick 'em. We gotta get that one. Uh, Shout out uh, to the Human Beatbox, though, man. Wow, they were dope and Disorderlies. Remember yeah, that? I remember that movie? Yeah, yeah. I used to love Disorderlies. Cassandra oh, Ferguson. Oh, you can eat. Cassandra Ferguson said, um, "Heavy D, run DMC, and Salt and Pepper, push it." Uh, Damon Lawson said, uh, "Melly Mel." Uh, Beat Street theme song, Run DMC's Rock Box, Kurt, Curtis Blow, If I Ruled the World. That was another one, too, a commonality. Um, let's see here. Uh, Roger Bachelor said, Rapper's Delight. Living in Brooklyn, uh, we got to listen to rap at block parties on the regular tip. Um, he's an old school hip hop friend. My, my boy Brian Danielle said, Beastie Boys, No Sleep Till Brooklyn. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Um, and Africa Bambada's Frantic Situation. That's a good one. Uh, Taz Jones said the Fugees, Ready or Not, Salt and Pepper Shoop, and Crisscross Jump. Okay. Ed Collins said Big Daddy Kane, Long Live the Kane, Eric B. and Rakim's Paid in Full, and uh, Big L and Nas, Illmatic. Um, we had so many answers, you guys. And, and here's another one. Uh, 911's a joke. Planet Rock. Two Live Crew. Me So Horny. Fat Boys. Oh. Oh. Uh, LL Cool J. Bad. Uh, Ronnie Taylor said LL Cool J. Bad. King T. Act a Fool. Sick Rick. A children's Story. There's so many. We'll have to uh, keep coming back to this throughout the show. But uh, 
Can we throw the mic into the audience for a second? Uh, give the mic there to uh, Arlo Allow. Uh, Arlo, what were your... Uh, Hit beat up, can you pass him your wireless? Oh, we got one? Okay. Let's pass this into the crowd. Uh, Arlo, what were your uh, three songs that made you, early on, young, fall in love with hip-hop, and don't be afraid to say real answers? So you did say Fuji's, right? Yeah. So uh, I think it was Buffalo Soldier, Fuji's. That one, uh, that one really made me fall in love. And um, I would say Tupac's... Um, California Love. One more. Uh, it's, it's so hard. I'm trying to think. Uh, when you're young, the fr you're trying to remember the first songs that really hit you. B stands for Broncos. <laughs> okay, Scooby Dabbington. Pass it to Scooby Dabbington. Scooby Dabbington. When you were young, and I'm talking real, real young. What were the first songs that really made you fall in love? I mean, to the level of maybe memorizing the lyrics, like Audio 2 or something, you know? Uh, Warren G. Warren G. Yeah. Regulators? Regulators. Mount up. Nate Dogg and the 2 It was a three. cool, warm night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was my song right there. Uh -huh. I had to sneak out and get that from the guy uh, on the street vending bootlegs. Uh, before then, I was just listening to Pink Floyd. You know, I okay, that doesn't count. We're going with hip hop yeah. songs. Sorry, number two, that. number two. You digress. Number no, two, number two, number yes. two. When I was a little kid, uh, I'm gonna have to go. You know, I'm a lot younger than you guys, so you know, I'm like uh, it's okay. 25. So you know, I'm gonna have to go with. Uh, That's not true. Biggie, Biggie Smalls. Uh huh. Uh huh. What song in particular do you remember? Being the first, yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. But we're live on TV, kids are watching. So, yeah. That song, boom. Push back. Uno. Get him on camera. Give him the mic. Give him the mic. Keep going. Give him the mic. Get that man fucked up. Get your ass stuck up. Number two. Never let them know your next move. Don't you know bad boys moving silence, silence. and violence, taken from your honest. I just squeeze mad clips, set these niggas for their chips and shit. Number three, never trust nobody. nobody. Your mom set that ass up, properly gassed up, hoodie and masked up. For that fast bus, she be lying in the bushes and light that ass up. Number four, uh, know you heard this before. before. Uh -huh. High on your own supply. Number five, never sell no crack where you rest at. I don't care if they want an ounce. Tell them bounce them and sit. That goddamn credit. Forget dead it. it. No. Oh, dead it. Dead it. My bad. You think a crackhead paying you back? Shit, forget, forget it. it. <laughs> Seven. This rule is so underrated. Keep your family and your business completely separated. separated. Money and blood don't mix like two dicks and no bitch. Fight <laughs> for serious shit. <laughs> Number eight, never keep no weight on you. The cast and squeeze the guns can hold joints too. Number nine should have been number one to me. If you ain't getting back, say the fuck from police. Niggas think you snitching, they ain't trying to listen. They be sitting in your kitchen, ready to start hitting. Number ten, a strong word called... Oh. Oh, you want to freestyle? Oh. I come from Mo County. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you so much. I come from Mo County. Doesn't go. Hold on, hold on. Wait. Oh, let him go. Here we go. Oh, he likes seeing himself on the camera. Oh. All right, here we go. You ready? Check it. Go, go. I come from Mo County, dozen drugs around me. Niggas don't clown me, cause I get down, G. All these bitches hate me, cause I'm fucking crazy. When it comes to sex, I'm lazy, like a baby. Lay on my back and let a bitch ride my dick, and I don't give a shit. Oh. I ain't licking your clits. So oh, okay. All right. Not on your tits, All right. When I finish this, you can be dismissed. Cause these hoes okay. already know that they ain't gonna get a kiss. So, <laughs> we're gonna, like a band, we'll let them play us out here. So, our next break. Is, uh, yeah, nice. <laughs> MF Doom. Okay. So, this is how we freestyle into a break MF Doom when he was 19 he did this check I'm a punk so what I'm a punk 
I'm a I'm a I'm a punk. So what? I'm a punk. I'm a I'm a I'm a punk. So what? I'm a punk. I'm a I'm a I'm a punk. So yeah, that's it. Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna reintroduce you know, my name, my partner's name. My name is Zev Love X. Zev for short. I'm on it. So um, we're from K- the rap group KMD. Now I'm 19 years old, right? And um, before three months ago, when I first met Steve Barr, I really knew nothing about politics. I didn't deal with it. I didn't, you know, I wasn't into it, right? But on the other hand, I was into cars, or I knew what kind of car I would like to get, or you know what I'm saying? So when he introduced me to this um, motor boat girl, I saw. I mean. As soon as he introduced me to it, I saw the change it make in me because it made the change in me as soon as you know, the first day he introduced me to the bill. And um, we did that public service an- announcement the first day, just right there after he you know explained the whole thing to me, so it was easy for me to understand. You know what I'm saying? Opposed to um, a lot of other things in politics, I don't even, you know what I'm saying? I don't even deal with. It. So this is so easy for me to understand that I did the pub- public service announcement and then went on to this tour. What we did, you know what I'm saying? We just got just the last day of the tour. We was on it for three weeks. Right now, if it was that easy for me to understand, and, and that's that's why we went on the tour because I knew two our colleges, I mean, they are age group and they understand what we're saying, being that they look up to us or. You know what I'm saying? We're figures that they would like to listen to, or we have a voice in tune as far as young people. Um, I knew that if it appealed to me, the first time I heard it, it would appeal to them. And um, we have proof that the 4,000 cards were filled out. 4,000 of um, those cards got filled out from the tour. I think I think it can really make change as far as I'm concerned, you know, as far as young people. Thank you. Well, if you've been tuned in, you just watched something incredibly special. And I'll tell you, you know, say what you want, but that's what happens when hip hop moves you. You just launch into the Ten Crack Commandments at will. Yes. You know, you feel moved. Uh, no way. You just launched into those lessons. We all chime like in. Like I said, I apologize. I, I apologize. Definitely B Dub egged him on by playing the beat. Um, <laughs> Mon Montu, thanks for for bearing no, with that's us. Cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's uh, cool. Uh, Montu, we're we're gonna roll through some images here uh, of, in my opinion, you know, really one of the. Don't go too fast. Hold tight. Hold tight. Uh, of really one of the top graphic designers and fashion designers in the entire DMV. Um, you know, here's one of his shirts, but let's go to the next one. Um, Montu, tell me exactly when you, when you do these shirts that are so historical, yeah. that are yeah. so woven yeah. in history. Hold this one right here. How do you, what, what is, what, is, where do these images come from in, in your brain? What, how do you do so that? This, so this one, right? So this particular image is special to me. I was at the Million Man March, um, took place, took part my father, as well as my attend by attendance, w- helped put it together with the people who helped from the DC chapters of the people who helped Southeast Union Temple, Willie Wilson. So I was already in the mind frame of the march before it was epic. So Marion Barry dies. I, I meet Farrakhan for the first time, handshake. Mm. Mm. Walked up to me, said something. I could improvise, mm. but he said a lot of, a lot of great things mm-hmm. that you know made mm. me feel really good. Mm. I said, you know what? I'm going straight to my computer. I'm not going to wash my hands. Not going to eat. Not going to do anything. I'm gonna take the same. And he took a picture with me. Mm-hmm. Um, agreed to, mm-hmm. and um, everybody jumped in it. But it's cool. He wrapped his arm around me. Took my took a picture with me. I said, you know what? I need to keep everything the same. I need to go home and mm-hmm. redo something in this in this honor. I uh-huh, did a Marion uh-huh. Barry one that was that's in this box too. I'm not gonna grab right now. But so I did that with after seeing him. 
talking to him, him touching me, went straight to the computer. And this is what it came up, what I came up with. Unbelievable. Um, it's another side to that too, and I almost was able to get that to be the uh, an official shirt for the the 20 year anniversary. It didn't happen, but we tried hard, and um, I was able to still release it on that day. And um, I'm happy I did it. I'm happy I did it. We have a few other images, uh, Jay. Um, met, oh, perfect. Met him too. So actually, I want to take this opportunity real quickly to um, let you know that your piece moved me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'd like to tell you why your piece moved me, because a lot of people don't know that um, Dick Gregory, for the last five years, has been a frequent client and guest here at WLVS Radio before passing. And his words and his activism had a lasting effect on the company and everyone who works here and who met him. And uh, if I can, and we're going to come back to more images from Mitchcraft and from Montu here, but if I could just show a quick clip here, Jay, of uh, a retrospective of when Dick Gregory was on WLVS Radio in its infancy when we first started. Uh, go ahead and roll that clip, Jay. <laughs> be able to stay home, brother. You will not be able to plug in, turn on, and cop out. You can have $20 billion in the bank and five PhDs and run 30 companies and you drive down the street and you hear that police car and you have no control over you squeezing the steering wheel. Huh? A white boy who can't read or write on his way to rob a bank. He don't even hear it. And yet we think you can't do that. If you accept injustice, you become unjust. You live in filth, you become filthy. And will not star Natalie Woods and Steve McQueen or Bullwinkle and Julia. Everything they ever wanted. You know, here's what's happening now with they feeling for Obama. Okay. When they dirt poor, ain't got nothing, can't read, can't write, and they can go to bed and they say, at least I ain't no nigger. They can't say that now, okay? No pictures of you and Willie Mae pushing that shopping cart down the block on the dead run or trying to slide that color TV into a stolen ambulance. NBC will not be able to predict the winner at 832 on the point. Now listen to this. Paganism is the same thing. It's Catholicism. Hmm. They just took it and wanted dirty and then make you think that that word is dirty, Catholicism. Hmm? So paganism is where they got all their stuff from. Hmm? All, all their stuff, they got it. Oh boy Wilkins, strolling through what? In a red, black, and green liberation jumpsuit that he has been saving for just the proper occasion. Green Acres. Wow, hey, hey, everybody. Jeremy Beaver back with... Uh, District Spotlight here, and my guest today is uh, CEO of Mitchcraft, Montu Mitchell. Thanks again for being with us, man. No problem. I'm happy to be here. And I was happy to punctuate uh, your incredible designs. If we can go back to them, uh, Jay, uh, that Dick Gregory design, I thought, fit perfectly with uh, some of the pieces that, that um, you know, yeah, look at that piece, you know, and then look at, look at you know, what you just heard. Now, now come on back and... Look at this, guys. Oh, wow. That's incredible. Look at it in person. Look at what this looks like when this is, uh, when history is turned into fashion. And I don't even want to say what he was, what he was saying during the break. Montu, can you tell folks what you were saying in terms of how you approach your, your work? How I approach my work. Um, I study hip hop. Um, I, I always like how they would take the beats from other songs that we remember before. Rappers Delight took the the um the song from Chic, right? Um, you know, and, and, and sampling the sampling, and I dig for records. I used to want to make beats. It didn't work out, but I never lost my love for the music that sampling drove me to different levels of the funk R&B from the 70s 60s 80s and stuff like that non radio cuts just so that that is the same science that I put into my t-shirts I dig for images I'll go to thrift stores buy records 
old magazines, eBay, old magazines, old pictures. Um, Wait, what, are you what, telling me that these are some of uh, scans that you found yourself? Some of them. And this one, because of the hours that I, I, I put it together pretty fast. Yeah. So this one, no. But in some instances, yes. The wow. um, Lim Bias is a scan. Uh -huh. The one that I did for him. Um, uh, a couple of my Dorothy Dandridge's are scans from the actual um, Life magazines from the 60s. Um, and how are you able to make it look so like... Um, high quality and, and sharp and not pixelated despite these images being kind of old images I would have to credit um, you know all those years grinding in Photoshop you know really fi figuring out how to tweak and bring out uh -huh. an, an image you know having to start from from a blank slate and have to want to create something you have to go into so even if you're not um taking the scan or the picture yourself you're still having to alter and yes affect oh every images. time every time every time very few times it's just that easy of can we show a few pictures of uh some of these shirts of his that have this incredibly um you know high quality sharp Oh my goodness. That that was the first all over sublimation print that I ever did. That one was the first one that ever got printed. That one. I mean that's and, just and I mean his, his weekend and and I, and this is the deal. I don't just run and do shirts that you can buy in the store. Like I don't do Bob Marley. I don't do Tupac. I do the people who you not going to see in Target. You're not going to see you know, we don't have the street vending culture like we used to. Yeah. That kept a lot of that alive. Yeah. But once that died, you know, you don't see a certain genre of niche, current event right. based, you know, um, you know, rest in peace yeah. without the yeah. stuffiness of the... Well, so what made you want to get into a line of fashion that literally didn't exist? Well, it, it existed. It existed. I grew up knowing um, that madness was there. You know, right. I, 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 I. But I mean, to the a lot of your pieces, and can we show his? So Martin Luther King Day is coming up on Monday. Yeah. Can we show his Martin Luther King piece? He's probably got it with him too. Um, you know, your pieces are so much more than just fashion. Look at this. Look at this, you guys. Unbelievable. Find me any other anyone any apparel that looks like this find it to me find it for me i mean show it to me and i Be did and i did this on a whim because like i said i don't do martin luther king but but here we go yeah southeast is where it's happening for us in dc yeah and we got a, a parade i do clothes for backyard Oh yes, I do clothes for junkyard. Do they, we, they're do both going to be in a parade. Those images, Jay. On Martin Luther King backyard Day. and junkyard. So a lot of people. Let me just tell you. Let me pause you right there, because your work for junkyard and backyard is a lot of the reason why everyone reveres you. Okay, look at. First of all, this guy is. First of all, Montu's so humble. But what he's done here for y'all, for people who aren't in this area. Okay, so we have audience in 150 countries, all 50 states. This is the Wizards logo that he has somehow amalgamated with the Junkyard Band's logo. Amalgamation. And uh, we said that's the bullets. That's, the, that's a little bit of everything. A little bit of the new, a little bit of the old. Bring Junkyard through. I'm going to break it down. You get and then he's Wizards, got the backyard. Junkyard. So you got part of it already there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wizards, Junkyard, we sampling. Do you have so the... Now uh, we got to figure out where that font is. The backyard? No, no backyard. <laughs> okay. I mean, so do we have any of your backyard stuff? Did you bring any of that? Because I really think, you know, his his homage, homage to Gogo -Go here in this area is one of the few times I've ever seen fashion, even like with his, you got the Gogo -Go at the Capitol Center shirt. Do you have that? There's a blue image there, uh, Jay, if you could run through some more of those pictures. Homage to Gogo. -Go. Oh, here we go. This is the one that really my first go go shirt. Oh, this wow. the one. This is the one. This one that opened the doors to to the opportunities. Look at that. Godfather of go go. 
This is one of the most beautiful And shirts. I made this shirt before he died. I made Look this shirt that. before he died. Murray and Burry shirt that I have, I made it before he died. Wow. Dick Gregory made his, gave it to him before mm. he died. Mm. Wow. I didn't know that. I got the video. Oh, look at that. Go, go live at the Capitol Center. Monto. So this is, you know, if anyone's from this area, they know that, uh, you know, the Capitol Center was just instrumental to the music. Oh, oh, oh my God. Look at that. Man. And like, this is the original DVD cover. You know, and, and it was an incredible concert that will forever go to, I mean, go to YouTube, you guys, and YouTube it if you haven't seen it. It's an incredible experience, an incredible concert. The original sampling, right? The original shirt wow, yeah. based on the, the shirt they had on in the Spike Lee directed video doing the butt. So I based this shirt on that shirt. They wore this shirt when they opened up the National Museum of African American History and Culture. Right. Let's see the so bottom. then, so I have to tell their story, right? Because why are you opening this up, EU? So I have uh, to tell you why they are here. So, so I gotta stop you real quick. You're not from DC if you don't remember these flags right here. Right, and then I did a mural in Southeast, and I put those murals in. In, I mean, those, those these prints, Globe style posters. Shout out to them. Shout out to Globe style posters. Merlin College Art of Design. They own the property of Globe posters that right there is the visual of go go unbelievable the visual around mm. around poles yeah yeah the, coming up you couldn't get around it so i had to show why eu got here eu got their name based on Jimi hendrix experience that's where the experience comes from in eu so i had to put that on there eddie van up the street from madness made a lot of money off doing the butt on t-shirts so i got that on there oh. you know just giving them back with that what i was shown i mean it's nothing i'm not i'm no picasso i'm just i'm more ted Koppel when he's not lying damn talk about a quotable and that's why we have you on because in in my opinion um i haven't seen anyone be able to capture history um in in the way in in apparel in fashion the way that you are doing these homages to these people um, and you know just to kind of break things up here I want to take a break um, and when we come back um, we're going to talk do a little housekeeping talk about uh, talk about events here that we got coming up at the studio we're also going to do this game um, in this game um, you will probably hate me for the rest of your life. Um, my DJ and, and Montu, if you're willing to play, we'll also try you. This game is going to include Pop Rocks. That's right. Stay tuned for what's about to happen because this studio does not assume any legal liability for the combination oh. of products that we oh, are about oh, to consume. Soda? Pop Rocks here. Soda? I'm not saying anything. We'll just have to see. So stay tuned right now. I'd like to show you this animated <laughs> video. Cold. That our content <laughs> manager Jacob Manager made, uh, Jacob Moss made, uh, digital our Jacob Manager made, animated video of our menu of services here at Listen Vision. So uh, stay tuned. We'll be right back with the Pop Rocks Challenge.
everybody. We're back. And this is District Spotlight every Friday at 5. Uh, tuned in during Fire Fridays. Fire Fridays, DC's premier cannabis networking event every single Friday uh, from 12 noon until 10 p.m. Come out in person to check out uh, the I-71 vendors and all of the people who know everything that there is to know about cannabis and the cannabis industry here in Washington, D.C., the nation's capital. Okay, why do I have scissors in my hand? Well, we are about to unbox pieces of, of hip-hop history here with Montu, uh, CEO of Mitch Craft, and he's got a piece in his hand, but before he opens that, can you just show them... We have a lot of Dilla stuff, and we love producers here. Can you show them this shirt here? Jacob Moss is going to zoom in on it. This is a, oh, all the greatest producers of all time. Psycho Les, Jay Dilla, The RZA, Pete Rock, Large Professor, who I went to see last Thursday, Ninth Wonder, No ID, Knots, DJ Scratch, The Alchemist, and we're going to the back. Prince Paul, Apollo Brown, wow, and all of their tools. Static Selecta. Mad Lib. Hey, Ant, look at Static Selecta. Lord Finesse. Okay. These are these are some of the greatest uh, producers. Molly Mall, DJ Premier. Where? Molly is right there. Came oh. Just oh. He, it, why there. he got to go in the armpit, nah, yo? No, it's, it's supposed to be right <laughs> I'm here. Just, I'm, just, I'm just playing. Well, we got Primo there, too. Oh, man. The real logo. Oh, so beautiful. You always got to use the real logo. Yeah. You know? And why are your why is everything that you do so much crisper and cleaner? That's just oh, all back to the effect. No, no, not that's not an effect. That's when Illustrator comes in. Uh. Because sometimes when I get your stuff, it might be uh, 150 pixels by 50 pixels. Uh -huh. So I gotta I gotta use my eyeball to recreate just what I see. Is that called rasterizing? Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you can't change rasterization. Damn! Look at me. It. I said rasterize. Yeah, you can't. Once it's there, you just gotta create yeah, something. Yeah, you, you're right. So that's what he's doing. He's creating entire new logos. Okay, real quickly, we don't have a lot of time. Go ahead. Let's open your little piece of hip hop history here. I think I know what yours is, and yours is actually um, we got because we have somebody coming into town next week from uh, Houston, Texas. And this is a piece that we got in uh, for him to sign. So hopefully, if this is what I think this is, we have a really dope weed wrapper. Oh, my man. My Show man. that to everybody. Hello, my man. Nice. Hold that up. There we go. Devin the Dude coming into town on Wednesday. Uh, and hopefully uh, my wife will allow me to go out and see him and get this autographed. So that's why we have it. Yep. And we can add it to the uh, Devin the Dude lighter that we have you going there, right? in the collection. Okay, now my turn. Hey, but, you, but you know Devin is my client, right? Excuse me? I thought that's why you, you, you got this sent to me. Yeah, so we did a collection. I did a collection. Yeah, of course that's yeah, why I got yeah, it sent yeah. to you. Oh, well, well, okay. No, cool. I mean, I had no idea. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, for real. Yo, what's going on here? So what do you do with Devin? Well, what happened with, with the Backyard Connection? Because we do a show with him uh, once or twice a year. Yeah, I know. And, you know, meet once, shirts go past, we talk, shirts get sent, you know, he sells shirts on the road. And so are you going to introduce us, please? Uh, I, can see I, what, I, can, I can see what I can do. I got his number. I, um, he's working on a beer. He's got a beer coming out. I did a label for it. It might not get chosen. A beer? He's coming out with a beer. Am, am I... Weird to think that is off. His um, it's a pale ale. I have to. Can't show you the. He's label not. He's coming out with a beer, not a weed. <laughs> well, you know, he keeps the weed. The okay. weed's always there. Yeah. Um, speak, yeah speaking. Speaking. But, he, but he's awesome to work with. Great businessman. Wow. Always on time. So always. We, we love. We love Devin the dude, and that's why we got that in. Yeah. What does it say? What year that is? Oh no, they cut it out. Oh, this is dope. I can make. See, I can make a shirt out of this right here, as is. You know what? That's what's up. Let's do that. What year is it? I think I think cut, I cut it out. Spring 08. Is it spring, spring 08? Oh, spring 08. Okay. Oh, man. Coming in from Seattle. Wait. Hold on. Oh, man. Yes, I have killed your high. This is Unboxing. Hip hop memorabilia here at Listen Vision Studios unboxing hip hop memorabilia. Buzzkill, buzzkill. <laughs> All right. 
the next item for the Hip Hop Museum at Listen Vision Studios is... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look oh, at that. Awesome. The Notorious B.I.G. Gotta love vinyl toys. In the Funko Pop version. Funko Pop. Notorious B to the I and the G. Gonna show you the back real quickly. Kind of cool. Look at that. Collect the entire line. Well, yes, we have. Now we will add this to the Biggie, the other Pac, and the Chuck D. Chuck D. All the way. Oh, go, damn. Jacob, best cameraman in the world. Oh, my God. Why did we never think of doing that before? Look at that. And the Chuck D is autographed by the one and only Chuck D. Hey, look at that. Wow. I have to make lots of shirts. Okay. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Okay. B-Dub, the boy wonder. B-Dub, uh, what's, what's my DJ's name? I, I keep forgetting. Can you tell me? B-Dub, the boy wonder. We, ooh, and he, and he screams like Godzilla. All right, so this is going to be interesting. So this is the game. I am going to... I'll take that from you oh, there. Hold on. Before you start this game, I got a feeling about... I got a bad feeling about this game. Oh, yeah. So before we you start... Take it with you. Make a shirt out of it, please. I got to get this out of the way. Yeah. You suck. You suck. Okay, you don't know what go. I'm about to do. You might enjoy this game. Uh, okay, so you got the options. Green apple, grape, or cherry. What I'm going to do, you're going to hold out your hand and close your eyes. Okay. I'm going to sprinkle a small amount in your palm, mm -hmm. and with your eyes closed, you're going to go like this. And you're going to throw all of the Pop Rocks in your mouth. Then you're going to open your eyes, and you're going to taste what they taste like, and you're going to see if you can taste the actual flavor of the Pop Rock. So at this moment, I would like you to close your eyes. So what flavors do we have again? Grape, cherry, and green apple. Okay, closing Great. the eyes. Cherry. Closing the eyes. Now the hand is out. Great hand is cherry. out. Make a little cup with your hand, please. Great okay. cherry. All right, here we go. We're yeah. putting a little bit into the hand. Okay, throw those in your mouth. Close your eyes. Keep them closed. Keep them closed. I don't like this already. <laughs> I know. I love this. I don't even eat these shits keep, for real. Keep them closed. Don't see the color. Don't smell. Okay, eat them all. Wipe your hand, wipe your hand, wipe your hand. Okay, so now you can open your eyes. Wait. You can open your eyes. And you can, you can, uh, can uh, taste what they pop like. Can you pop into the microphone a little? Can you open your mouth a little? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No? Mm. Not going to open your mouth and pop the rocks in the microphone? Mm -mm. You have some sort of weird feelings about that? Mm. Okay, that's how he feels about that. So, in three, two, one, what flavor were you just given? I'm going to say great. Audience, was it grape? Yes, it was grape. He wins. Yay! Oh, my God. He won the Pop Rock Challenge. I'm undefeated. Okay, here's the next one. Monsu, you're next. Okay, you thought I wouldn't get you. Can I open my own bag and, and my, with my eyes closed? No, you cannot. No, you cannot. That is cheating, sir. Okay. Now, here. here. Hey, put your hand out. Okay. Okay. Throw those in your mouth and keep your eyes closed. Keep your eyes closed. Keep your eyes closed. No, no, no. Okay. Now, wipe your hand off. Don't look at your face. Wipe your mouth. Please wipe your mouth because that will give it away. There you go. Wipe your mouth. So you, the options are cherry, green apple, or grape. Now you can open your eyes. He's really getting into it. I like. He likes it. He likes it. What flavor did you get? The red one. He said the red one. Would he be right? Yes, he would be right. Cherry Pop Rocks. Cherry Pop Rocks. Okay. So, that was this week's game. So, real quickly, in closing. Huh? No, I can't do it myself. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Huh? What was the end game with that? Nothing. Just want to see if you could guess what flavor it was. Wasn't a whole lot there. I apologize. 
Oh, you're booing my, my candy event? Okay, great. Oh, hip hop rocks. Hip hop rocks. There we go. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take Jacob that. made it make sense. Thank you, Jacob. Anyways, uh, real quickly in closing, uh, we wanted to do a couple things. Um, and one of them was tell you about Tasty Tuesdays. Now, starting next Tuesday, we will have the very first ever food event here at Listen Vision Studios. So if you are an edible or I-71 vendor, if you are a DJ or, or a caterer, if you are a, a mixologist or a blogger or a foodie or want to do cooking demos, contact us here at 202-332-8494, and we will have you come out and vend or broadcast or be a part of Tasty Tuesdays where you can get your fat boy on. Then, next Wednesday is Work It Wednesdays. Work It Wednesdays, the first ever weekly fashion event here in Washington, D.C. So attention designers, boutiques, brands, clothing and accessory vendors, jewelry. We'll have models on the catwalk, DJs spinning all day long, house music and EDM. If you are any of the above, come on out here to Listen Vision Studios or give us a call if you want to vend your line or show your fashion on the catwalk. That's 202-332-8494. And then right now, today, again, is Fire Fridays. This and every single Friday from 12 noon until 10 p.m., we have the premier uh, cannabis networking event in Washington, D.C. Okay, thank you, thank you so much. Oh, and lastly, let me show you what it looks like when I am cartoonized, okay? So, oh, oh, don't do, oh, God, don't. Don't even leave Do it. it there. You look Do like, it. You look like Elon leave him. Musk. Do it. Okay, this is what it looks like when you are cartoonized by our graphic designer. That is me. That was done from a photograph. Now, if you would like yourself cartoonized or a mixtape cover or graphic design, no, don't you think about it. If you would like yourself graphic designed or comically, oh God, what? Oh God. If you want this to happen to you, give us a call, 202-332-8494. We can make you a cartoon that slides across the screen. We can animate your logo. We can make your flyers or logo or, or mixtape covers. Call us. That is it, okay? Montu, is there anything? I hate you. I hate you. You're mean. Mont Montu, oh, thanks. Is there anything you wanted to say in closing? In closing, um, I like to say um, keep your eyes open for Mitch Craft to do big things in 2018. Um, Where can we find your line and communicate with you? Uh, well, the line uh, is coming back for Black History Month, but um, yeah, so we'll be around. For, we'll do a pop up for a month, and other than that, we do customs. Yeah. For, um, so if someone wants to contact you to do a custom T-shirt design, if you are you know, a, a Devin the Dude caliber rapper, and uh, you want uh, Mitchcraft to do your line. How do we get a hold of you? You get a hold of me, me by way of email at mrmontu at me.com. That's M R M O N T U at M E dot com. Um, hit me up on Instagram at M zero N two. Uh, yeah, that's the best way. Okay, you cool beans. Well, thank you so much for being on our show today. No problem. B-Dub, is there anything you wanted to tell our viewers uh, regarding uh, their three greatest hip-hop songs that got them into hip-hop? No. Okay, great. Thanks for your contribution. So listen, every single Friday at 5, District Spotlight, uh, stay tuned. Uh, you're going to see the rest of uh, Fire Fridays. And then at 8 o'clock, you got a Physician for the People. So uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, we will see you next Friday at 5. I'm Jeremy Beaver signing off. Peace. What's going on? It's your man, LL Cool J, K.A. Tar Smith with the boy Wonder. It's real, real big, baby.